Hello and welcome to the first video. So today I'm going to address a really common like beginner's mistake in competitive programming. And that is why is my watermelon submission getting wrong answer on test five? So as we probably all know, like watermelon like is the easiest problem right now on code forces. Like if you filter by like most solving the problem set, then like watermelon is going to come on top with like two hundred thousand solves or something. <clears throat> so it basically asks you like if you are given the number w, they ask you if you can split w into the sum of like two positive even numbers. Yeah, so at a glance like it already looks like a really easy problem to you because like the sum of even number plus even number like it has to be an even number it can never be an odd number. So <clears throat> it should make sense that like the answer is that all even numbers should be yes, not all numbers are no. So you, you might write like a simple program that looks like that. So basically what it says is just like, if the number is going to be uh, odd, then we're going to output no, else like we're going to output yes. <coughs> but like you, you can see that we're going to get a wrong answer on test five verdict for some reason. <coughs> and like if you try again and again, and like you can never really figure out like what's wrong with this because like this all looks right. So like this whole experience, like getting so stuck on like the easiest problem, is like really really demotivating to an aspiring competitive programmer. And like I totally understand that pain. Like I've been stuck on similar easy problems before. So <clears throat> here's a really useful like button you can click to like see uh the test cases which you cleared and the one ones that you didn't. So you can see here. The test cases one through four, like we got all of them right. So eight and four are yes, like as we expected, and five and three are no. But then on test five, <clears throat> the input is two, and like our logic should have said yes, but like the answer is no somehow. So this might like not really make a lot of sense to you. Why would the answer be no for like two, but the answer yes for like four and eight? It's like you might think that like eventually this has to be has to be like the number has to be divided by like not just two but by four. But like this also is the logic that makes sense because like uh, the inner is divisible by two. It's like you sum two and two and two like the sum of two numbers divisible by two. Like it quote unquote like really could be always divisible by four just because like two plus two is four. But then like you're going to see that you're going to get a wrong answer in like a later test case two. Like I think it was test case seven around. <clears throat> so yeah, if you also did that, then like you might really just like not know what's happening, because like it seems that like you try like read every pattern <clears throat> that could be like that could make the answer like yes. But like if you think about it a bit more, like think about the restriction on like the weight of like the two watermelons we're going to choose. I mean the two parts we're going to choose. <clears throat> like both are like positive even numbers. So like the smallest possible even number is going to be like a two. So two smallest possible even numbers are going to be like add up to like four. So like really, you can see that like the smallest possible sum of like the weight of the two parts is equal to four. <clears throat> so like, you really like can't count like a watermelon of weight two, you know, like two positive even weight parts. Yeah, so that is why like the answer is going to be t no for w equals two. But like, what about the other cases? Like, how do we know that like the other cases are going to be yes? Well, that's what we can we can really do like do case work for that. Like, we can check like all other forty nine cases and like write on two even numbers as sum to like the the weight. Like I don't know, two plus two is like four. Two plus four is six. Four plus four is eight, and so on. But like, we can be a bit more clever too. Like we can just notice that like uh, if you have like an even number like say w is even then like w minus 2 because it's even number minus even number it's also going to be an even number. So w minus 2 is going to be an even number and 2 is like uh, we know that it's an even number. So you can split also split that into like parts of weight w minus 2 and 2 and like your sum is like always oh, going to be W and then like both of them are always going to be even. Yeah, and this works for like every W that's like better than two. 
and we will and we can still un also understand the solution the way that like uh this this construction only doesn't work for little equals two and it works for everything else so, like it makes sense that like it's going to be no for w equals two so yeah <coughs> we make a simple modification to your code make it like output no if like w is equal to two or like if w is odd and like output yes if w is like even and greater than two if you make this simple change, you're going to get the accepted verdict, which means that like you give the right answers to every test case. So yeah, <clears throat> that's going to be it for like my uh what wrong answer on test five watermelon tutorial. So make sure to like leave a like if you enjoy this type of content, and I hope you have a successful journey.